Shell collecting is a game of you snooze, you lose. They were out here, three, I heard three o'clock in the morning with flashlights looking. Sure did. Wonder what they found. I have no clue. I was in bed at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the shell searchers have got here early and found their lot and they're gone. It's common knowledge the best conditions for shelling are in the wee hours on the morning after a tropical storm passes by. But one woman who's collected thousands of shark's teeth over the years is not so sure about that. Not really. I think this tide is so rough it takes them back out. But new moon and three days after, you get lots of big ones. Walking the beach after a storm goes through and looking for shells is a fun activity. A lot of folks like to do it. This one looks pretty interesting. But there are some folks who like to come out on the beach after a storm goes through just because it seems like a great place to be. It's just peaceful. You can come out with a burden and walk the beach and it's just so calming and soothing. It's not just shell collectors. There are dog walkers, exercisers, families getting an early start on a fun day in the sun. The beach can be a surprisingly busy place at sunrise. But then why not? I mean, do you really need a reason? It's the beach. I mean, what can you say? <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. In Cherry Grove, Joel Allen, WPDE News Channel 15.